Hello everybody, it's Sephiroth 4 for another episode of Final Fantasy X HD. In the last episode, we went along Mian High Road, did a whole bunch of fun stuff, found a gaudy ad apparently. Um, we met uh, Belgamine, we met Mikan, and now we're going to meet another we'll staple of the Sid series. Any way we can. But Yevon's teachings say... Enough! I... I, I only meant to... Are you alright? Lady Summoner? Yes, I am Yuna. It is an honor, my lady. My name is Shalinda. I am a disciple of Yevon. What was all that about? Shalinda. The Crusaders operation? <sighs> you mean the one Gata and Luzu were talking about? Mm. I heard they were to use forbidden machina. I had to stop them. Huh? Why? The hmm? use of Machina is strictly forbidden by the Yevon priesthood. <laughs> Sorry. That's bad, yeah? Let them use whatever they want. Not they work. still won't defeat Sin. God, Orin. But it's not about defeating Sin. The teachings of Yevon must be upheld. Yeah, right. But <laughs> you don't understand. The Crusaders won't even listen to me. Oh. And it's all because... I'm just a lowly acolyte. Oh. Don't say that. <sighs> well, I haven't been a summoner for very long myself, you see. Still, I can't put myself down every time I fail. Yeah. People are depending on me. They're depending on both of us. Yeah. Yes. Yes, you're right, my lady. Absolutely right. <laughs> Thank you so much, Lady Yuna. Now, I feel I have the courage to finish my training. Oh, That's actually really sweet. I will do my best to get myself appointed to a temple. As a nun. Did I talk to you? No, I no, will do my no. Best to... No, you. <laughs> Dang it, game. I'm just gonna run from this battle. Actually, <laughs> I believe there's... There's a, yeah, you, you also run individually, which kind of stupid in this game, but, um, there's, I believe, an overdrive mode from running from a certain amount of battles, which is weird. Once order's given, I'll fight in the front line. Okay, wait, I guess we already talked to him. There's a chest up over here, which is just kind of weird that it's out of bounds like that. I'm just going to run from this, too, because I actually... Uh, I have like five minutes to get to the save point before I have to do something. I just needed, I needed to, to play enough of this in order to be able to save since I didn't have any save points in the last episode along the high road. Oh, come on, Lou. Well, if she dies, I'm pretty sure we escape anyway. There we go. But, oh, all right. Uh, right into the floor. Uh, get some eye drops. Nice. This is probably gonna be a cutscene over here or something. We rest here. But this isn't our bed shop. Oh, shut up. Is that a problem? They Bird, right outside my window. It. It's not the time. They kidnapped Yuna. Where were her guardians? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Playing blitzball. Sir Oren's just concerned about your health. I'm not tired one bit. <laughs> was, that, was that well? Titus, I am. Well, I am. Is that Titus just like nonchalantly whistling? That's great. Oh yay! Sleep sounds. As if I could sleep. Yeah. Please. Thank you. Okay, so I'll see you. I mean, I'm gonna stop playing here, but I'll see you guys in a minute. <laughs> or in a second. And we're back. Uh, this is actually my second time recording this because the first recording screwed up so much. But uh, yeah, we're in travel agency Mr. here. Shops are Got Mike in. Spira. They are quite convenient when you're on the road. Uh, I don't remember even what I was 
like talk I'm gonna talk about for this. But um purchase at the counter, okay. This might be the last time we can rest like this. But yeah, we're taking a little rest. I've heard that the proprietor, Mr. Rin, is in Al Bed. Huh. But I was very relieved to find that he keeps nothing sacrilegious here. That's good. Anyway, it's nothing really we can do inside here. Uh, one thing I didn't talk about that we will explore more uh, in the last episode was that you can now play Blitzball at the- I showed it off, but I forgot to talk about it. You can play Blitzball when you talk to a safe sphere. You can also recruit people by pressing uh, square at certain people and uh, get them on your team, but we'll see that in a little bit. For now, it's cutscene time. And maybe it won't screw up this time. Check it out. Ah. That sunset was different from the one I saw in Kilika. It was quiet. Almost sunset. gentle. Now featuring considerably less dead people. What you up to? Pretty. Sure is. The sky is pretty I wish too. I could oh. live in a place like this. Peaceful. Living with a smile on my face every day. You can once you beat sin, right? <laughs> but then a new sin will be born anyway. Well, then you can just beat it again. I again and again until it I comes could. to its senses. Hey, you can. Trust me. You are the best summoner out there. Yuna, why does sin always come back? That was abrupt. Sin is our punishment for our vanity. And it will not go away until we've atoned. But you guys have been atoning for like that? a thousand years now. What did we do that was so bad in the first place? Ah, was it using lots of machina or something? Oh, wait, was that such a bad thing, really? Uh, it's funny. Hmm? Ever since I was young, I never questioned it. But now that you ask me if it is that bad or not, I don't know. <laughs> Wouldn't be a Final Fantasy game if we there weren't taking so on a religion. I don't know. Well, then we're the same. Oh, such thinking is very unbecoming of a summoner. Sound like Micah? <laughs> it's racist. Ageist? <laughs> Something is. Not nice. <laughs> That's not very nice, you know. <laughs> You know, during a game, you have to think of Blitz and nothing else, you know? Okay. Mm. Ah. You can't think, that's a cute girl in the fifth seat from the right. And you can't be thinking about where you're going to go on that date, because the minute you do, that's when you lose. So I shouldn't see, ask girls on, on uh, dates? Yuna, That's, what I mean is, uh, you really shouldn't worry, you know? After we beat Sin, that's when you can worry about the future. <laughs> After guess. we beat Sin, then you can ask girls out on dates. But Yuna, how are you supposed to beat something big Pretty like that? Pretty sure that's that? the plot of Ten Two, right? The final summoning. It's the only way to defeat Sin. The only way. With it, we can call the final summoning. Aeon. That's the goal of the pilgrimage. The faith of the final summoning lies waiting in the far north to greet summoners that complete their pilgrimage. Uh huh. At the world's edge in Xanarkand. Are Xanarkand? In Xanarkand? Uh, <sighs> she means the ruins of a city destroyed a thousand years ago. Oh.
I love how detailed they made Oren's face compared to the rest of us in this scene. You sure it's ruins? That's what I've heard. You will see it for yourself. Look at that. Soon enough. You can see his individual mustache hairs. Come back inside. You will go with us to Xanarkand? Of course. Yeah, I'll go. <laughs> I'll go to Xanarkand to see it with my own eyes. To see it with my own eyes. Yes, yeah, sunset. Yes, yeah, sunset. I knew it couldn't be my Xanarkin, but I had to make sure. All right, so now that we've slept, uh, first of all, you're going, right? Th this will help. Hey, thank you. No. Okay, the, the, the way to use the level 1 Q-Spheres is to go to a level 1 node and use it just like you would anything else. Uh, so this guy over here, Broken Dreams Travel Agency. Uh, if you press square, you can actually recruit him. His name is Rop. Uh, in my main file, I already did recruit him, so I'm just not going to bother here. But you can sign him to a bunch of games, costs money. Uh, I wouldn't sign him to too many. He's mainly used as a uh, defensive player, uh, but he's pretty good. I woke up early for nothing. Uh, you can also use the store here. There's a bunch of fun stuff, but I'm not going to bother wasting your time right now. Because this isn't... This is... This is just a re-record, but I'm already past this ah, later, so... Forgive me, sir. I meant to say pardon me, but it came out in Albed. Oh, you're in Albed. Mm -hmm. Is it Albed or Albed? I am Rin, owner of this establishment. Like Rin of Rin's win. travel huh? agency? It means nice to meet you. Ah, well, uh, heli do sad we to you too. <laughs> God. Mm-hmm. If you are interested, Elbed primers can be found all over Spira. Finding them and learning our language might be fun. Yeah, we've been doing that already. Here, let me give you one in commemoration of our meeting. Can you just give me a bunch? Although can you, you give me might all of them? Want to be careful where you speak our language. Then we got primer eight. Get R to H. Yeah, I hear Elbed aren't liked much. <laughs> oh, uh, sorry. <gasps> a decky Chrisa. It is a shame. Ah! Someone help! The chocobos! The chocobos! That's our cue. Let's go. All right. Uh. Huh? Yeah, we're gonna oh, be. We're... Thank you for your help. Please use this. Oh, nice! Two mega potions. Huh? So we're going to be fighting a boss in just a second. Uh, as set up for this boss, I'm just going to change our formation to uh, Waka, Yuna, and Kimari. Because those three are not going to be used in the battle itself. To the Chocobo Corral. But uh, yeah, this is, this is an interesting fight. There's actually multiple ways that, that it can end. <laughs> Excuse me, but we'll get into that hopefully if the recording doesn't mess up. It just like dropped like the entire episode's frames. It was completely unsalvageable. But anything, this thing is horrifying. It has two tongues. But uh, let's beat it up. For boss time against the Chocobo Eater. So, first off, off the bat, we're just gonna have Yuna and Kimari do nothing. Waka is going to use dark attacks that can't hit me. As you can see, it has 10,000 health. But, it actually has a very different strategy here. Uh, let's see, if I use. Let's use Haste on Waka so we can actually get him out faster. 
Um, I'm going to switch you with Lulu. And uh, so the strategy for the Chocobo Eater is that you want to deal 1200 damage to it, and this will happen. It'll get flipped over. Now, hit it hard and we can push it back. Uh, once it is flipped over, it can't really do much, but uh, when you deal another 500 to it, uh, I'm actually going to pause here because we don't want it to get a turn when it's flipped back. And when you do 500, it will push it back. If you keep uh, repeating this strategy, you will eventually push it off the cliff and it'll be very funny. And you'll get extra rewards. You can also do 10,000 damage and you can kill it. Uh, you will just get regular rewards. Or it can push you backward and um, you'll be upset. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's use Fyra again. Um, it's really easy to accidentally kill it in the meantime, though, so just try not to. Uh, do I want... Yeah, let's see, I don't remember if Titus is actually going to get that much, so I might bring in Kimari here just to knock it over. Okay, good. Okay, let's bring Titus back. We are going to use haste now on... Lulu. Uh, yeah, I'm actually gonna have both of them. Ah, oh, flip back over. Really? That's rude. Thought it would. Uh, thought it would stay down longer. Uh, it's gonna be close. Yeah. Let's. Regular tag, flip it over. You can use fire. I don't know if that's going to be enough, but we'll see. No. Uh, you can use haste. So when you do, yeah, so you just want to make sure that it doesn't get turns right as you flip it, because then it, it could just push you back. Uh, this might be enough? No. Push a little bit. Uh, da, 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 da. It's probably going to push us back now. This is going to be really close. Yeah, unfortunately. Uh, I don't want to have Orin attack him because that's just going to be bad. Uh... Let's just have you defend. And have both of you defend. Come on, really? There we go. Bring you back out when we have a whole bunch of turns now. How much attack do you have? Uh, okay, we should still be able to do this without killing it. 1084. Mari to knock him over, and we should do it. Sweet. This is like the second. <laughs> it's the second time I actually ever knocked him over. The first time was earlier today with the recording that died. <laughs> That's great. But anyway, as our reward for knocking the Chocobo Eater off the cliff, we get two level one key spheres. Also, last time I got a. A white something, I think, for Lulu, maybe? This time we get a red bagel, so that's, that was different. But yeah, the level 1 key spheres are really good for early in the Have game Have you here. an interest in renting some chocobos? Chocobo. As a token of our gratitude, the first time is free of charge. Hey, free chocobos! Please ask the attendant if you wish to rent. Thank you so much for saving the chocobos! You're welcome! So if you were to loot, or if you were to get pushed back, you would fall off over here and go into the uh, old road of the Meehan, which we will be discovering in the next episode. Uh, otherwise, it would just die over here and you would just get experience still, but no key spheres. Uh, next time on Final Fantasy X HD, we are going to be renting us some chocobos. So thank you all very much for watching. 
I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.